This is code.org. Let's see what we have here. Well, we have myconsole.java. What do you think this program does? Keep in mind, guys, we can't hit run yet because it wants us to type an answer in here. However, once you do type an answer, you can hit run, but your answer is then submitted to your teacher. So that's me. It's to me. Think about this carefully, right? You want to be able to understand this and actually understand it because it's going to make your life easier throughout this course and for you to get a better grade rather than just slamming something down to get through this. Trust me, I'm right. That being said, let's talk about it. All right. So what is it going to do? Int and double. What are those? We've seen those a few times, so I hope you're yelling at me what they are. Well, not yelling, raising your hand politely and telling me I have a full head of hair and I'm great. But other than that, um, an int is an integer, right? It is a number. It's a whole number. So we know this. And a double is anything, it can have a dot after it. And that said in like the fancy technical way would be something about it being a, you know, a numerical, a numeric variable holding numbers with decimal place, with a decimal place, right? And so that would be a double, right? A decimal, something with a decimal is a double. That being said, what is going to happen then if we do this? Now we know that's divide, right? So what do you think will happen if we have an integer data type and we divide it by two? How about if we have a double data type and we divide it by two? So gut wise, you might think, well, Mr. Kaiser, computers are dumb. And if it doesn't completely understand, it just won't do it. It's just going to break on us. And so this is going to cause an error. And honestly, that's a good first hunch. The thing is, it can technically work around this in a way. It does so because it will do integer arithmetic, right? It won't provide partials because we have already told the computer this has to be a whole number. It is a whole number. So what will occur is technically referred to as implicit conversion. And all that means is whatever happens numerically, arithmetically, it will be converted on the back end by the computer in the shadows to be a whole number no matter what. So this must be a whole number. So how many times does 2 go into 5? Well, we hopefully know it's 2.5. Since it must be a whole number, you might think, oh, well then Java's just going to round it. So if it's 2.5, this will be 3. But that's not the case. It's somewhat lazy. It just drops the decimal. Everything after the decimal, it completely ignores. So it will be an integer, and it will be 2. Because Java is just going to force, it's going to implicitly convert this to be a integer and not a decimal. That being said, 5.0 over 2, this is a double. This is allowed to be a decimal. So this will be actually 2.5. So course own words and sentences but i would say uh let's see my thoughts would go something like so and this is definitely not a complete answer uh but my thoughts and my words not your words the first variable divided is defined as an integer data type, right? Therefore, the result of the division would have to be an integer. Second variable would be a double. Uh, second variable double divide is a double data type. The result can have a decimal. And so this should result in 2 and 2.5. Let's give it a shot. Bam. Cool. Onward. 